remember in our in our contract agreements we say uh, 100% coverage and we say uh, within 10 15 seconds the data will come uh, but when i look at uh, tweeting myself and when i am demoing i see it comes in like 2 seconds exactly so you know i'm also very excited to understand you know how are we able to uh, do all these things uh, you know if you could talk about those that will be wonderful hey good morning ajun how are you good morning i'm good how are you all well yeah very excited to do this conversation actually uh, a lot of times uh, it's very important to reflect on uh, the business goals and what really powers these business goals behind the scenes uh, you know conversations which happen in cx is uh, is all about you know looking at the relevant in no time and not really uh, wasting time on what is not uh, relevant to us and and this is where speed and accuracy whether whether the speed of uh, how quickly uh, somebody raises a concern on say uh, whatsapp or on instagram or on twitter how quickly does it sort of uh, come uh, onto the inbox of a customer service agent becomes very imperative in this world because you know uh, people do want to hear back very very quickly and then uh, uh, accuracy becomes a very interesting uh, aspect to it because at locobuzz not only do we just uh, show you the incoming message but we also annotate it with a, a plethora of things which will help an agent be more uh, relevant uh, and uh, and more accurate uh, in terms of how they are able to personalize the response correct right uh, so just wanted to understand you know uh, how are we achieving these things uh, i uh, i remember in our in our contract agreements we say uh, 100% coverage and we say uh, within 10 15 seconds the data will come uh, but when I look at uh, tweeting myself and when I am demoing, I see it comes in like two seconds. Exactly. So, you know, I'm also very excited to understand, you know, how are we able to uh, do all these things? Uh, you know, if you could talk about those, that would be wonderful. Absolutely right. Uh, uh, so if we have to effectively manage a brand, uh, accuracy and speed both are very, very important, right? Uh, and I remember a time where uh, a, a customer was facing some crisis and the volume went up from x to 10x wow and then also Normally happens yeah right. exactly and uh, then also we were able to cater to that client along with all our uh, other clients uh, very very efficiently and thus uh, the services they just scale automatically and handle the load right so uh, behind providing this uh, awesome experience there is a lot of engineering effort which we have made uh, so what we have done is we have created a very effective and very efficient uh, Kubernetes cluster, right? Which looks at every incoming mention, enriches it with 65 plus different attributes, and then present it in an analytical BI tool, which we have created uh, in a matter of seconds. Wow. Right. So, uh, so we understand that uh, speed is very, very important, but uh, accuracy is important as well because if a customer who is an influencer, if you are not uh, making that particular conversation uh, critical, right, then there are chances that agent will miss out on that uh, particular conversation and the tat will go for a toss, right? So uh, doing it accurately with speed is is very very important. No, true. And you know when you were explaining crisis and all, uh, I just realized that uh, the two organizations right one which uh, moves the entire country on land uh, using the biggest uh, network of railroads uh, in the whole world mm -hmm. and uh, uh, and then uh, the other organization which moves people in the air right. the largest in the country i think the third largest in the world both are our customers yeah. and it's so interesting to see that you know especially in these sectors a little bit of crisis also results into massive conversations absolutely so no i completely understand uh, 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 the craziness which goes behind the scene this is just amazing let's jump a little bit on the ai side of things as well mm -hmm. so while we are uh, not only getting uh, uh, information right uh, on the, the inbox of an agent to act on it uh, do you uh, uh, do, do, ai is a big role to play in it as well right whether ai is being used to determine what tickets to act on whether AI is being used to identify the aspect or opinion 
or whether AI is being used to automate things as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember one conversation where a customer had come back and say that, hey, could you uh, add a delay in our automation because it looks like only because of the speed, it looks like a bot quick, is replied, yeah. though the response is very human-like. Mm -hmm. Could you talk a little bit about, you know, let's break it down. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, let's start with AI in actionability and automation of responses. Right. And then let's zoom into aspects and opinions around every conversation. Sure. Uh, uh, before going there, uh, right, so uh, we have an internal benchmark uh, that every microservice which is looking at uh, every mention which we collect, right, uh, it has to complete its work in 300 milliseconds. Wow. Right now, uh, when we were working with Gen AI, right, uh, the LLMs uh, they were taking. Uh, I mean, they were able to provide a lot of uh, uh, valuable uh, enrichments uh, on uh, on the data which we collect, right? Uh, but they were slow, mm. right? So, uh, so it was a very challenging task to achieve our benchmark uh, with LLMs, right? So. Uh, at that point in time, our engineering team, our data science team, uh, we all came together and finalized that what will be the ideal mix of speed and accuracy. And that's where a, a lot of uh, engineering effort uh, went, right? And you rightly said, uh, one of the clients uh, said that it's too quick, so uh, it looks like automated, so can you make it a bit slower or can you add a delay, right? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's absolutely... Uh, uh, Right, uh, so what we are doing is we are uh, using Amazon's bedrock and we are not looking or we are not using a lot of big LLMs. We are using a lot of small uh, or SLMs, mm -hmm. right? So uh, which which looks at this information and, and they are purpose built, right? So uh, they, they work on a very specific problem and they do it fast, right? So consider them as agents which are purpose built and uh, working on a on solving a specific problem. So you're basically describing agentic AI now. Exactly. Right? I mean, I understand people make a very big deal of agentic AI, but yeah, it's just basically a bunch of uh, small uh, action, AI actions sort of string together to complete uh, a bigger task. Or, or like, you know, how a document is broken down into titles, subheadings, blah, blah, blah. And that's the whole story, right? Correct. The same, same way. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so I used to think that the speed is there because you guys have also secured uh, the H100s. <laughs> yeah, so that's 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 a very interesting project we are which we are uh, working on right now. Uh, yeah, you will you will see the effect in some days. I'm very excited about. It. I think very few companies uh, in the in the world have access to their own GPUs and Locobus yeah. being one of them. I'm sure our customers uh, are eventually going to benefit in a great way in the near yes. future. Absolutely, awesome. And, and how about uh, all these uh, aspects, opinions, uh, sentiment, you know, I, I go to meetings and I have to keep a straight face. People ask, you know, how good is your uh, sentiment model? Mm -hmm. Will it understand sarcasm? And I'm like, how do I, what do I tell to, you know, give them that, you know, this is, you don't ask this question like, you know, will the car now uh, drive for 10 kilometers or before it will need that coolant. I don't know if you remember right. as a child, you know, the car would drive it with water. It's no longer the case. Like Correct. you know, what what do I say to people to uh, help them understand that dude, that ship has sailed? Yeah. Uh, what sarcasm you can bring any nuance in any language? Locobus will very accurately give you the output. Yeah, yeah. So uh, see, uh, this this comes from a, a past baggage, I think. Uh, so before two thousand eight and nine, uh, there were no transformers. Everyone was. Uh, uh, banking on their custom models, which mm. they have to tune, fine tune. And again, as the volume increases, they will have to do a lot of work, which takes months of effort, right? So uh, uh, the, the, the fine tuning was very, very slow. Mm -hmm. But now with LLMs, I think understanding sarcasm, opinions, aspects, extracting those, uh, those things are very, very simple, right? Uh, but there are a lot of language nuances, which uh, comes into play. So uh, uh, I remember when we were working with different uh, languages, right? Uh, for some languages, a particular model was good. For some languages, another model was good. Yeah. Now, how to determine how to route these conversations to a, a, a very specific SLM or LLM? Uh, that's that that took an effort. That took real engineering effort, I would say, right? So uh, so yeah, that's solving a problem at root level 
is difficult it takes effort uh, but yeah now with the slms and llms these these things are very very simple to solve uh, no i i totally believe you and that's what i end up saying that you know we are using the best global llms possible fine tuned to your use cases correct so it doesn't get better than that so now we are truly living uh, in a cx uh, world uh, with loco buzz where uh, not only are you able to see the power of speed where any conversation makes it to your inbox but it makes it to your inbox along with all the enrichments uh, 65 plus attributes with accurate sentiment aspects opinions which are the key cornerstones for your decision making uh, and we go beyond that as well right so uh, and we go into automation as well where a conversation can be picked up an llm uh, can analyze it uh, and then come up with a response right and send it on its own as well right so what's the future going to look like i think it's it's complete automation where uh, people are defining the rules right or uh, or just saying that how to respond to a particular conversation yeah. or how to handle certain crisis uh, and that's it the the system will take care of every conversation uh, automatically uh, in fact i want to uh, uh, talk about one very specific instance uh, uh -huh. so one of our customer uh, they were they had a very good quarter and they wanted to take everyone out for a, a party in goa okay right uh, so what they did uh, they used response team right and they just activated it uh, on their incoming mentions now uh, while they were party in goa uh, the response unit in loco buzz was answering to customers real queries automatically wow and that that i mean uh, that is truly amazing because it is giving you flexibility to work from anywhere while maintaining the accuracy and speed of response yeah. so ultimately you are able to meet your customer expectations yeah. uh, without adding to the cost without spending as much time directly on things which can be uh, automated which are regular and focus more on uh, you know outliers or something uh, like a corner case or uh, exactly. more involving uh, complex issues no brilliant i think that's really amazing thanks nidin thank you